Rolf Tahir's latest film, The King is Dead, may sound like an historical epic, but in fact it is set in a very contemporary suburb of Adelaide, where Max, Dan Wiley and Therese Boyana Novakovic have just bought a bungalow. Next door on one side are very nice neighbours, on the other are the neighbours from hell. King Gary Waddell is out of it most of the time and so are his friends Luke Ford and Anthony Hayes. It's quite a sinister group, but despite everything, Max and Therese try to look on the bright side. Don't worry, that's not the worst of it. I've had to call the cops a number of times. You wouldn't believe the racket some nights. Mm, I sort of feel safer this way, you know? If we maintain good relations with them, they'll keep an eye out on the place. No, they're onto a good thing with us as neighbours. Yeah. Driven to desperation, Max and Therese decide to plant some of their possessions in King's house and then pretend they've been robbed. What's this? Don't ask. Therese. There's enough there to put him in jail for a spell. Where did you get this? Don't ask, I'm on watch. He's gone, I'm gonna take watch outside. Tapping into the frustration of anyone with ghastly neighbours and soaring into black comedy mode, Rolf De Heer has made a taut, tense, funny film that features simply wonderful performances from Dan Wiley and Boyana Novakovic and Gary Waddell is hilarious. Design is great, Ian Jones' cinematography absolutely first rate as you would expect and Tanya Neem's editing seamless. I had such a good time with this film, I just love seeing Australian actors so terrific on screen. David. I didn't have quite such a good time as you did, Margaret. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Rolf de Heer's films. I think The Tracker and Ten Canoes and yeah. Bad Boy Bubby and Alexandra's Project are some of the best Australian films. Um, so I love his work. Uh, this was a much more conventional film for, from him, I thought, and it wasn't a subject that particularly excited me, I have to say. Um, I thought there I was exhilaration in it and frustration, and I lived every moment of that film, I'm telling you. I wonder why. You, identif you identified so much with... with no, what? I think that what you do on screen is create a scenario that mm. is believable and it draws you in. And obviously... And I absolutely loved Dan Wiley and Boyana mm. Novakovic in this. I thought they were such a believable couple. Liber small L liberal couple wanting to do the right thing. You know, not wanting to be po-faced about their ghastly neighbours, but trying to get on with them to start with. And, I, you know, it was just a believable scenario for you me. Know, I guess what my problem is that I, I come to expect from Rolf to hear something special, something really unusual and exciting, and, 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 and this is much more average, if I, you like. That, I said to Rolf, you know, it's the straightest film he's made in a long in while, a, if a, ever. You know. Well, yes, <laughs> in, a, in a very long time, anyway. Yes. Yeah. But I, I, I liked it so much. I'm giving it four stars. I'm giving it three. Hey, Mac. Max. Oh, do you reckon, uh, you know, I could have some of those bottles worth a bit of money? I've got to make some phone calls and maybe get me something to eat. Burger-like, you know, uh, my pension doesn't come through to Thursday. Well, I... Well, it doesn't matter if you can't, I understand. No, no, that's not what I meant. It's just somebody comes to collect these bottles. But just... Take this. Now you can get yourself a burger and make some phone calls. Pay me back whenever you can. Sure. Thanks, Mac. My pension comes on Thursday. It was the case with this film where the script existed. I, I'd written it three years or so before, and suddenly there was this moment that was perfect for it. We were going to um, move out of the house that we were living in, and I suddenly thought, we should shoot it here, because I know the neighbours on both sides, Okay, and they'll be in it for sure. 
okay, because it's fun, you know, and it's a big adventure for them. Uh, and then we don't have to look for locations and, and, and do this and that and get George to grow the grass long and do this and Sam next door can do the... And, and it was this, this whole... And, and it was like a... It, it allowed the budget to be lower than normal. Uh, it meant that, the, you know, the, there are lots of things already ready. Um, and it, I thought, yes, I think I can get this finance because I can get the budget at this level, this da, da, and the shoot will be great. And so then it suddenly happens uh, because you have the energy and the drive and, the, and, and when you have the energy and the drive, you've got the capacity to sell it as being something that this is going to work or at least worth a try. So we should start off with the warning on the front fence. I think it's important for him to start to worry as to who it might be. It's all in the wording. We could scatter nails out the front of his house so that all the customers get flat tires. Maybe better. How about this? To super glue some sort of pins on the roadway. That might work better, and then he would know that it was deliberate. Every time he replaces one, we should just break it again. King doesn't replace his broken windows, so how does that work? I've got it. Yeah, what? The wording. Rip off. Drug dealer lives here. You don't like screen testing people? No, no. Um, some very good actors screen test very badly and some quite bad actors screen test very well. Um, it's not the same as, as acting on set. It's not the same and I can't ever make it to be the same. And I prefer to trust what I see them having done and speaking with them person to person. Now, it, it needs just one tiny moment in an entire performance or in 10 films, one little moment of 10 seconds where I can think, ah, so this person is capable of being like this. Do you know the one that I thought was fantastic is the Maori guy? Oh, yes. He, I've, I've, got, I've written his name down. but I'm, Jack Wetterer. He'd done some extra work, um, but he was very keen. And funnily enough, he's a Mormon. And he doesn't swear, and he's not violent at all. He's very gentle, he's very cultural. Um, and, and, but he loved the idea of doing it. And uh, that they were acting with Lani, Lani Tupu, who's the chief Maori, uh, because they knew him as an actor, and they respected him enormously, both Richard and, and Jack did. And so this was a great, and they were being carted to another state to do it, so they were really committed. And I think they both, outperformed anything they thought they were capable of doing. And, and they, were, they were great in it, you know, they were really, really fine. That was writer-director Rolf Deheer talking about his film The King is Dead, which opens in limited national release tomorrow.